Aloha Sunday as and bar. Kind of turn around so you guys Gorgeous can see. Weather. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Great save. Great save. You're the best. You're the best. Oh. Woo. There we go. I mean, it did a good save right there. So let us know if you guys can hear us or see us. We are here. How is your Sunday going? Yes. We're here live at the sandbar. Hey. Beautiful, beautiful, here, beautiful awesome. day. Um, we are here with Islander Chris. Yeah. If you haven't, be sure to do so. We will link in the description. But it is Islander Welcome Chris. Aboard. See, he is our captain. That is his boat, and we have TNT in the TNT house. in the building. Oh. Fra, 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 fra. <laughs> so let me give you guys a little 360. See our pineapples floating Aloha, around. Isha. Yeah, we're about to get on that in a little bit. It's super shallow here. So shallow that you can actually walk out there. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. People are, have uh, chairs, beach chairs, umbrellas. People Walking are, their dogs. People are grilling right on the sand. Oh, hey, yeah, Ronald, how are you? <laughs> Aloha, guys. Aloha. We have already seen a few turtles swimming by here. It was awesome. Aloha Brandy, how are you? We're about to jump in the water. But yeah, the different parts of the sandbar uh, mountain range over here. Ridge, mountain ridge or range? Ridge, right? Uh -huh. Is it ridge? Okay, so this is Koolau Mountain Ridge. Over there, you can see the mountain ridge for um, Koalo Range, where the Jurassic Park tours are. Uh, the secret beach is over there, too. It's all happening over there. Usually, sandbar is happening on the weekends. Um, that's when most of the boats come in, and of course, uh, it's open every single day but it is more fun when other boats are here you can hear music from other other boats a lot of people having fun chilling hanging out there are a lot of kids here playing with paddle boards floaties <laughs> if you guys are interested in possibly coming out here Irina and I we're setting up something really special we can't say what it is right now but I put our email at the bottom there. You guys can reach out to us via email if you are coming to Oahu. Um, reach out to us uh, via email if you're interested in coming out here. And we're putting together a very special experience for you. Experience the sandbar, the Aloha way. Uh, experience Hawaiian traditional food and oh, yeah. drinks and a lot of fun and floaties and snorkeling. Maybe even you to see turtles. Yeah. joining our live for the very first time aloha and welcome and as you can see guys if you look at our subscriber count we are just so close to 10k oh we are God. so so we're close so, so if you haven't subscribed join us in our hawaiian journey and so much more to come make sure you subscribe to our channel and help us help us reach that 10k we're going to do something really special with you guys uh, when we do hit that you're so welcome Randy so welcome thank you so there you see he's standing he's up to his waist this is Lani. This so you is see it's very uh, white over there with the sand and as it gets deeper it gets darker in color here yes Mike uh, if you reach out to us uh, via email we can give you all the information you need uh, just let us know um, in the uh, subject, just say sandbar. So anyone who wants to reach out to us with information, just uh, 
in the uh, subject, make sure you say uh, sandbar. And what is Irina eating right this now? This is what is that? It's um, like a um, snack that you will find in Hawaii. It's uh, lots of rice, a slice of spam wrapped in seaweed, and um, yeah, it's um, kind of sweet and salty sauce. Getting really hungry. <laughs> hey, Devon, how are you, brother? Aloha, welcome. So yeah, turtles were actually came right up to the boat. We saw the turtles. And uh, we're about to head out there a little later on, take some photos, get some nice videos. And then we're going to upload it uh, to our channel so you guys can see what it's like. So beautiful. We went on their private boats further out there. Super awesome. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to come on here just to kind of give you guys an update on where we're at and what we're doing. Um, I will be up at Koalina and I'm going to be uploading that video later on today once we get back from the sandbar. You guys will see what Koalina looks like. And um, from there, we're going to talk to Irina. <laughs> so our plans for yesterday uh, were to come out here onto the sandbar. But yesterday it was raining the entire night. And when we woke up, it was just overcast. So coming to the sandbar, the conditions, weather conditions might be, must be right. <laughs> During winter in Hawaii, it's a rain season and we are on the east side, this is windward side and it's a lot of wind and it's a lot of rain during the winter season. So the sandbar season is only from April to October when it's not as much wind and um, it's more sunny days. So yeah, yesterday was uh, supposed to be our sandbar day our plan so we were trying to figure out where we're gonna go and then we drove from Kaneohe all the way to Kayana Point west side it was like over an hour drive because the west side is usually you know, always much drier and it's less chance of rain so when we got there to Kayana Point to Yokohama Bay the weather was beautiful but they closed the drive parking lot when you go all the way to the beach to Yokohama Bay and a lot of locals were parked on the side of the road we found some broken glass so we didn't want to risk leaving the car parking the car there and then walking all the way there because if you don't know at Kayana Point there is a really beautiful spot where you can see um, hard shape um, formed out of rocks and water splashing on it so it's really beautiful and that is that location is from the west side uh, west uh, uh, entrance of Kayana Point trail so we didn't want to park on the side of Yokohama Bay and then walk to that uh, hard shape rock spot so we decided to drive to Koalina because Koalina is also on the west side and it's also drier and sunny and beautiful. So that's when the van went live yesterday and if you have missed it, so be sure to check out our live section. Uh, it's, there is a tab if you're watching on your computer. On YouTube there is a tab specifically for live videos and that's where you will find all the vans live so he actually walked through all four lagoons of koalina for you guys uh to he he already uploaded yes the van the video is uploaded it's, it's uploaded but it's not published yet oh, so okay so be sure to sub subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss that walk through all four koalina lagoons and yesterday we also did a really beautiful sunset lagoons at koalina and uh, we were hanging out with our YouTube Ohana crew. We were with uh, Islander Chris. We were with uh, TNT. Uh, we were with Leland Hasty. 
so we will link all their channels below as well so you can check them out we often like to collaborate with other youtubers and we pretty much um, shoot our experience in different ways and we tell tell you stories and how to uh, do d different things and how like all our experiences uh, come out different so you can watch um, their channels and their videos and we recently went on high five tours it was a lot of fun if you haven't seen that video check it out it's a um, private tour to go around the island as far as the snorkeling group goes, um, here, uh, basically what you would probably want to do is join some uh, Facebook groups, uh, snorkeling Facebook groups uh, in Hawaii, and that's how you'd be able to link with people who are like-minded and do the same type of things. Uh, so here I'm kind of panning around so you guys can see, look how beautiful Colina Ranch over there. I'm gonna pop in a little bit. Oh my goodness, Jessica. <laughs> she said you both were dining across from us at the ramen place on Friday at Waikiki and I wanted to say hi, but didn't want to uh, disturb you guys. Damn it, Jessica. What's up with that? <laughs> you were supposed to say hi. <laughs> we were supposed to do a ramen cheer. Yeah, we were supposed to do a ramen cheer, of course. <laughs> so awesome. So yes, there's Colina Ranch. And there. sometimes I'm like, Jurassic I Park. See people looking. I'm like, is it something wrong with me? Or like, <laughs> how how deep is it here? The tide, uh, Chris. Do you want to answer deep. that? So yeah. I'll have Chris answer that that for What's you guys. Going on? I'm coming up. Okay. What's going on, buddy? Uh, the question is, how deep generally is it here? So it varies, right? The best way to find out how deep you usually get on a daily basis is going through a, an app called Tides based on the moon movement uh, phases and whatnot, it'll tell you how deep it is. But usually during um, summer and whatnot, I've seen it go where the sand is above the water. And also I've seen it where like last week when we went here, it's like like chest deep at, at some time. So it's one of the big things that you gotta look at is watching the tides and timing the tides. That's the biggest thing, enjoying a day at the sandbar. So right now we are fairly low tide. And if you go farther into the sandbar, it gets about ankle deep. So, but where we anchored that right now because we don't want to get caught in the sand. We're about waist fine. deep right now, so it's still enjoyable. Right. So, yep, something to consider. Awesome. Okay. That ankle water is very warm. It's warm because of the uh, time of year, but also because it's shallow, so it's much uh, warmer. You literally can just jump right in. Alright guys, so that's it for us from uh, the sandbar. We're going to go ahead and enjoy the day. But first, before we go, I'm going to show you what we're going to have for lunch. Ichika, you going to go or you want me to go first? Yeah, I'm going to go. Showing them lunch? Yes. Hold on, So we're going to show you guys what we're having for lunch. We're on a diet today, so keep in mind, we're on a diet, so... Musubi diet. Musubi diet, so if you never had musubi before, spam, rice, and seafood, all put together in a nice little tiny cube, so it's pretty good. Okay, so we have some Tasha here from TMT. Hi. And we have some vegetables, we have poke, crab salad, another type of poke, and this suena salsa. Very sunny. More types of poke. It's very, very overblown here. We have sushi. We have roasted chicken. We have, I don't even know what tegu. that is. What is it? Tegu. Tegu. Whatever that is. Cuttlefish. Okay. And what is this uh, The kimchi crab. Kimchi crab and some taco poke. Also, the sushi is fun. Octopus in Hawaiian. Or Japanese, right? Japanese. Yes. No, I'm good for now. Okay.
All right, so There's we are about to dig in. All right, guys, here's Tell Irina I said hi. Hi. <laughs> Island chips. How are you? Maldives of Hawaii. Yeah, yes. have lunch we're gonna finish okay. at this live for now and um, check out our Instagram at just be out we might be going live from there too